I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video for Thursday, the 8th of March. Kind of balmy and warm today, but a big change tonight and tomorrow with rain coming in and colder air for a brief time. Let's check some of the SkyCam shots around the Alpha SkyCam network this afternoon. We'll start with the view coming from Haleyville in northwest Alabama's Winston County. Cloudy and a few showers up there in uh, the northwestern corner of the state. There's the Tuscaloosa Sky Cam looking east from the Tuscaloosa County Courthouse. The sky is cloudy there and way down south. Isn't that inviting? Gulf Shore is looking pretty good. That's our uh, Sky Cam up on the uh, Phoenix All Suites. And for those of you headed down that way for spring break this weekend and next week, things look pretty good. Uh, highs in the 70s, and there could be a few showers around, but nothing to suggest any really big, nasty rain event down there. All right, uh, water vapor satellite view. Got a cold trough north of us and an upper low over New Mexico. And uh, the cold trough to the north is kind of pushing a cold front down this way that's going to bring colder air tomorrow and a chance of showers and maybe some thunder. But out ahead of that, ooh, it looks good. Temperatures are as warm as 80 degrees. Uh, at Montgomery, Birmingham 78. But look at Memphis. Yeah, they got 54. There's that cold front. That'll be uh, coming on through here tonight. Uh, in advance of the front, there's a look at the rain, just a steady soaking rain falling at Memphis, up Interstate 40, toward Jackson and Nashville, Dyersburg, Tennessee, sitting in the 40s now. And around here in northwest Alabama, a few showers, and we'll see that rain increasing tonight. And there's your gradient. Uh, you can pick out the front there near Muscle Shoals. Uh, it's only around 40 back in parts of Oklahoma and Missouri. But around here, readings are well up in the 70s. But that cold air intrusion tomorrow will not last long. Pretty much the story all winter long here. Here's a watch warning map. Uh, winter weather issues around New Mexico, up on the Canadian border. Some flash flood warnings north of the state for parts of Kentucky and Missouri. There's the SPC day one's convective outlook, and the guys have pulled Alabama out of that risk, and that's a good call. There's just not going to be any severe weather with these uh, type conditions. A slight risk of severe weather from uh, eastern Texas up into north Louisiana, south Arkansas, and the Mississippi Delta. Rain for the next five days, a big soaking out west. Look at Texas. And again, these, these guys have been in a drought. And I know west Texas could use a lot, but east Texas will take that too. This is suggesting six to seven inches of rain for places like Tyler and Longview and Shreveport up into Texarkana. And around here, you know, uh, it's kind of looking at, uh, what, two inches of rain around the shoals. I don't know if we get that much down here. In fact, really after tomorrow, the weather looks pretty dry now for the weekend and much of next week, as you'll see. Let's look at modeling. This is the 12Z GFS, valid at noon tomorrow. Big trough over eastern Canada, upper low over New Mexico. Uh, down below that, the front just kind of sags through here tomorrow with occasional showers, mainly during the morning. The GFS wants to end the rain by midday, and I think that's the right idea. And yes, much cooler. We stay in the 50s all day tomorrow. Uh, we I don't think we see 60 with clouds and morning showers. Saturday looks good. How about a sunny day to start the weekend? Uh, the air dry. We'll start the day around 40. We'll wind up with a high in the upper 60s. Should be a beautiful day. And Sunday's looking pretty good now. The uh, GFS now keeps the rain west of the state over eastern Texas and eastern Oklahoma, and I think that could be the right solution. High's well up in the 60s, so we can almost just take out the rain Sunday based on this. And uh, there's Monday of next week. That upper low is moving way north of us. we got strong ridging over the South Atlantic coast, and a weak front kind of extends out of that low over Duluth, Minnesota. And that might bring a few showers Monday. But again, this is not going to be a big rain event. And Tuesday, the front loses the upper support. It fizzles out. We're kind of in a warm, moist air mass, but no dynamic support. So, yeah, maybe a shower, but not very likely. And we'll be way up in the 70s. Look at the thickness values. Maybe upper 70s to near 80. Same thing on Wednesday. Uh, highs close to 80, partly sunny with only a very small chance of a shower. And a week from today, look at the uh, jet stream so far north. Down below, that's some weak front trying to nose in here from the north. But again, just not much rain. So really, after tomorrow morning, things look pretty dry. And next week looks pretty warm. We'll check the end of the forecast on March the 24th. Again, that's not going to bring any cold air. You know, for the cold air, you want the big western ridge and the big eastern trough. That's just not happening. And down below that, that looks pretty uneventful. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. We'll have notes on the blog. The next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow, tomorrow morning. And if you live around here, and even if you don't, watch us on the news. We stream them all now. You can watch them anywhere. That's ABC 3340 
in Birmingham at 4, 5, 6, and 10. You can watch that stream via abc3340.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening and God bless. The first thing you've got to understand, you cannot rely on an outdoor siren. You cannot hear those inside a home, a building, a church. It won't work. You've got to get something inside your house. That's a weather radio or maybe a smartphone app. We work with a company that's developed a wonderful weather radio app for Android phones and iPhones. It knows where you are, and if you're in a tornado warning polygon, you get the warning. And if you're not, you don't. It's an effective device, and it's a great way to be sure you get the warning.